Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we're going to go over the new Bitmain Bitcoin miner, and uh, we'll see what my rigs did over the weekend. Be back in a bit. All right, real quick before we go on, I have some going on called Bitcoin Fridays. Where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. To be eligible to win, you have to be subscribed and you have to hit that notification bell below. Uh, hitting that notification bell will also let you know when the Enter to Win video comes out. All right. It only takes a second. You got a chance at free Bitcoin. You got uh, nothing to lose really. So just subscribe, hit that notification bell, and uh, you'll be notified when the Enter to Win video comes out. All right. Let's see what uh, Bitmain is up to. All right, so I don't know if y'all have heard it or not, but um, Bitmain is uh, at it again. Uh, Bitmain to maintain mining monopoly with a new 7 nanometer ASIC chip. Um, September 21st, Jihan Wu, the founder and CEO of the mining giant Bitmain, announced the launch of a new 7 nanometer application specific integrated circuit or ASIC chip that the World Digital Mining Summit in Belize, Georgia. Uh, Bitmain claimed that the chip will provide many efficiencies that have not been found in the previous mining models. Of late, the cryptocurrency mining space has been experiencing a lot of activity with the announcements by Bitmain competitors Bitway and Bitfury earlier this week. Bitway announced the launch of the What's Miner M10 where, as Bitfury revealed, it is bringing a 14 nanometer mining chip to the market. Some even thought that Bitmain's monopoly could be broken by these revolutionary enhancements until the leading company made its own announcement. However, Samson Mao, Blockstream CSO, released a series of Twitter posts to dig further into the situation of Bitmain and its announcement of the new chip. Blockstream is a blockchain security firm that has been in a feud with Bitmain for a long time. In his first tweet, Mao wrote, Let's take a closer look at Bitmain's announcement of WDMS mining conference for their next gen 7 nanometer ASIC chips. To most people this may seem like a big deal and good news, but actually the announcement shows things aren't looking too good for Bitmain. Uh, continuing, before the position uh, at Blockstream, Mao was the chief operating officer at the first Bitcoin exchange in China and used to manage mining business units. On Bitmain's announcement, he stated that the announcement carries much ambiguity using phrases such as, will soon mass produce. This does not give any timeline of when the actual product will be out for sale, Mao explained. Next, he pointed out another hyped usage wherein Bitmain stated that the chip will include over a billion transistors. Here, Mao conveyed that this feature is easily achievable in an 8 nanometer or 10 nanometer chip as well. Furthermore, the fact is fascinating for people outside the industry, but not to those who know the space well, Mao believes. He took a shot at the marketing schemes of Bitmain. He cited an example from earlier times when Bitmain touted its S9 chip to have 75 ter terahash efficiency. However, the miner itself ran at 98 joules per terahash. He added about 30% more power consumption, so it's likely the new Bitmain miner will be with the seven nanometer chips, we'll run at 55 joules of terahash at best, nowhere near the 42, um, which they claim is misleading. In later tweets, the CSO concluded the chip is not going to reach anywhere close to 42 joules of terahash. Uh, that's basically 42 watts of terahash, and is going to be an expensive production. Cobra, the owner of Bitcoin.org, had a different viewpoint on Bitmain's announcement. He believes that the mining giant is not going to see an end and will continue to thrive with the new launch on his official Twitter handle. Cobra wrote, Bitmain have just announced the BM1391 7 nanometer chip that can mine 42 joules of terahash efficiency, which is absolutely insane. I don't know why everyone underestimates them. Their dominance isn't coming to an end anytime soon. So here we are in the Bitmain's uh, main site. I'll put a link down below just announcing that um, that new miner will be available soon. Doesn't really give a timeline in the article here that I saw. 
they just said it'll be out soon. So it's kind of big. Basically goes over what that article was just about. So here is the S9. Well, one of the S9s right here, the S9i 14.5, 14.5 uh, terahash. Um, so down here, it's getting 1365 watts or 94 joules per terahash on this particular model. So this new one is only going to be 42 joules or 42 watts per terahash. So that is, um, what, over 50% uh, more efficient than this one. So these new ASICs they're coming out with are just getting better and better and better. And I don't see it stopping anytime soon. Of course, I doubt it's going to be 361 bucks. You're probably looking at anywhere from 1000 to 1500 when they first come out, I would imagine. But, so that's that with the Bitmain Bitcoin Miner News. Let's go ahead and check out what my rigs did over the weekend. Um, sitting at 2089 Stellite Mine, 3064 Micro Bitcoin. Um, I did stop mining Elliott Coin at 1032. So, like a like you saw here, I did switch back over to micro Bitcoin, and uh, that seems to be going well right now. Uh, 0.815 Ethereum Classic, giving me a grand total of $16.71 so far this week. I'll finalize the numbers on Thursday night. Digging a Moondex Masternode payout of $53, uh, giving me $2.54. Moondex coin right here. Um, it's been going up. I... From what I can tell from the buy and sell orders, it's anywhere from 0 0.048 cents to 0 0.065 cents. So I put it on the low end at 0 0.048 just for the purposes of my spreadsheet. Uh, so that's given me now a total of 487 moon decks, $23.38 worth. Uh, micro Bitcoin. From what I could tell, that is 0 0.00086. That's now on one exchange, uh, Byton Bay, I believe it's called. And from, like I said, from what I could tell on that, that's how much that is. So that's at 264 so far this week. Total micro Bitcoin is 11,015 or almost $10 worth, about 9.47. Uh, total value mine $634.06. I haven't updated these numbers. Bitcoin right now is about $66.50, so it's about $100 off. So it's down a little bit, but not too much. So I should be beating my last week's um, weekly mined number. Uh, what was it? $21.72 last week. So I should pass that up with that um, Moondex Masternode payout. So I guess that's going to be it for today, guys. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. Um, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And uh, with that, guys, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.